strength for today. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to talk about today reputation. And we're in uh, the book of Proverbs chapter 12 and verse number 4. This is Thursday, February the 29th. I'm sorry, 27th. If it was 29th, there wouldn't be no such day. It's the 27th. Tonight at 7 o'clock we have Bible study. Uh, Brother Daniel and uh, the young people in one hall and then all the Adults and other halls come out tonight and study the Word of God together right here at Timberlake Baptist Church. We're talking about tutoring. Everybody needs a tutor. God's our tutor. He's teaching us instruction. But we become rebellious, and we don't always appreciate it. If we do appreciate it, God will bless us. If we don't appreciate it, God will condemn us because we're playing with sin. So if we don't play with sin, we build a great foundation to build our life on. And when you got a foundation and you build a building, you arrive at a reputation, and that's what you want. Not a bad rep, but a good rep. You want to have a good reputation. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh ashamed is rottenness in his bones. Now, the reason we're using a woman's picture here and a husband is because of Christ in the church. We're the bride, okay? You and I are the bride of Christ. He's the groom. And if we are not virtuous in our relationship with God, we destroy him. That's what this verse says right here. He says, but she maketh ashamed as rottenness in his bones. So folks, we're in Christ. And we don't want to rot his work. We want to have a great foundation. We want to have strong roots. The Lord's saying here that those who follow his commands will be an honor to those around them. An honor and those who choose to rebel and reject the love of God will be an embarrassment to those around them. So do you have a reputation for being an embarrassment or an encouragement? We need encouragers. The Bible says in 2 Peter 1-3, According to his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness to the knowledge, that's instruction, of the tutor of him that he hath called us to glory and virtue. That's a good reputation. Whereby ye are given to us exceeding great and precious promises. That's the Bible. That by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. That's from God. That's the reflection of him in our life. Having escaped this corruption that is in the world through lust. And beside this giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. And to virtue knowledge. And to knowledge temperance. To temperance patience. And to patience godliness. And to godliness brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here's the key. The more you build your life, the more you know him. The more you're like him. And the more you're like him, the more strength you'll have for today and the more hope you'll have for tomorrow.